My name is Muhammad Nasser. I'm with Allied Asset Advisors, which is Iman Fund. And uh, I'd like to thank Brother Bashar for his presentation uh, today on the volatility of the market. Uh, that's uh, very interesting. What we all know, who hasn't watched the news of what's going on with the market? It's like a roller coaster. And that is a, um, it's a, it gives us a lull who have money in the stock market a headache. And it was good to hear uh, Brother Bashar talk about how to manage the risks in that. Iman Fund, um, I'll just talk a little bit about Iman Fund and then I'll talk about what we actually need to do for most of us here um, is to make sure that we have funds available for our retirement, it's to secure our future. We want to make sure that we have some funds for our children and their education. We want to make sure that we have some money that we can leave for our, uh, our children and grandchildren. So we want to be able to put that money that when we earn our money, we would put it away and that money will be able to uh, earn some uh, appreciation and we can transfer some wealth from us to our next generation. So um, is there anyone here who's not, who's not saving or retire for retirement? Anybody, has, who doesn't have a for anybody has a 401k? Anybody familiar with the 401k? Okay, that's very good. How about any IRAs? That's very good. So we, as uh, 401ks, as an employer-based uh, pro um, retirement plan, so when you work for an employee, for a company, most major companies will have a 401k pl uh, pl plan where you would contribute some funds to that plan and they match it uh, at a certain percentage. And then that money grows over time and when you reach the age of retirement, you'll be able to use that money for your need when you're not able to work anymore and you need those funds. Um, we would talk, they talked about the market, so people have their 401ks or IRAs, so if you're not working, for, if, you don't, if your employer doesn't have a uh, 401k program and you are working and you're earning money, you're allowed to put um, some funds in an individual retirement account, so you can put money in there for you and your spouse, and that money also will be able to grow at a, um, in, the, in the market if it's invested. Now the question is, what happens with the market? Should we pull out? This is what I think Brother Bashad, he mentioned, you know, the volatility, we get a little bit nervous. So we want to make sure that we're looking at the long-term horizon. So when we're putting money at the age of 30, 35, 40, 45, this money is going to be there for hopefully, inshallah, for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And over the course of the last 100 years or more, the market has predominantly went up. You know, an average of 7%, 8%. We have had excellent gains um, uh, last uh, last couple of years. Does anybody who have the retirement plans or accounts look at their statements the last quarter? You saw how much gain there is, almost 20, 25%, 30% with some, and then went back down, and then you look down. But over time, it would be like similar to something where you're, you know, the market is going up and down, but over time it's increasing. So we want to be able to look not to be emotional, but to be, you know, founded in looking at the historic. There's, Juan um, Bashad mentioned to manage the risk, maybe going out of equities and putting it into other investment types to protect the, um, some of the gains or protecting against the downfall. But we should be, we, the most important part is to make sure that we are putting money away for retirement. And I want to make sure that that's something that we don't, you know, we don't see the market going down and we get scared and we don't put money into our retirement or into our savings. We want to make sure that we are funding that. And you know, when the market is down and you're buying funds at this at equity stocks at this time, you're actually buying them on the cheap and as the market will go back up again, inshallah, then your gains. Um, so, the, um, so I just want to make sure that we cover that part, the importance of the retirement. Um, the second part I wanted to, just to touch, to touch on, and then I think we decided to kind of give the audience uh, more time to give, to answer questions and see what you, what you are most concerned about. So the halal, uh, Bashar mentioned the, the importance of zakah and purification, which is the two, two part, two criteria as part of making a stock or a company halal. And uh, I'm sure many of you, if you have attended sessions before or you heard or talked to anybody about Islamic finance investments, about what makes a company halal. And just to briefly go over it, not without any going to the details, but you screen the companies that are non-permissible uh, products and services, companies that deal with, like say, banking, the interest, uh, alcohol. Those companies are removed from the 
uh, screening process, so they are not invested in. The second part would be the, in looking at the financial statements, the balance sheets, to look at debt, how much the company borrows, and they look at assets, how much money the company has in cash or liquid uh, securities, um, and then look and see, because that's where the interest income comes in, and those have to be, uh, according to, you know, 30, actually 30%, 30 less than 30% ratio of the market capitalization. So this is, you know, the, um, what makes the company halal. Then the next stage is that you must, you must make sure that you purify it and then you must make the zakah with whether Bashar mentioned earlier. So just a little bit about retirement and the importance of retirement. Starting early, we see a lot of people in the mid, middle age, uh, some in the, maybe a little younger. But the importance of starting young is very important. The earlier you start, the more money you put away, even a few thousand dollars a year, like let's say $400 a year, will generate a considerable amount of retirement income. Um, I was hoping that we would be able to have a presentation to be able to give you the, um, uh, to show you some of the data about that. So some, if two people were investors, just as an example, and one person started at the age of 25 putting money away in, in a four, in, let's say $450 a month, uh, and then someone else, and they started contributing for 10 years, and then someone started 10 years later, and they kept contributing to the age of 67, the person who started earlier would actually have more funds, more investment accounts when the time, the time of, of uh, retirement comes in. So starting early gives you the money to uh, increase on its own, so you put money, and that money will grow, inshallah. We have in Iman Fund, we have um, several accounts that you're able to open for yourself and for your children. So if you have the 401k, that's through your employer. If you transfer jobs, anybody here moved from one job to the next and had a 401k? So you have a 401k from your old job and it's probably maybe it's sitting there, maybe it's not. So you have an opportunity to move that 401k from your old job to a, what they call an IRA rollover and it works like an IRA, it's still the account is still the same. I would recommend not to take the money out and send it to, you know, to us or to any other company, but to have it transferred directly so that there's no mistakes as to for tax uh, consequences. So you transfer your 401k from your old employer and you'll be able to have it invested in Hanal Hanal way. Most likely the 401k that you're currently investing in is probably not um, Sharia compliant. I'm not saying it's not, but the likeliness that you have one of the funds or your screening stocks, as according to Halal, are unlikely. So it's, it's good to have it to move to a Halal um, 401k rollover. The second, if you, don't have, if you don't have a 401k or you have money and you want to open a, an IRA for yourself or your spouse, then you have an individual, there's two types of IRAs, the Roth IRA or the traditional IRA. Now there's the Roth, the traditional IRA is a tax deduction. You take a tax deduction and you're able to put money away. There are some restrictions regarding income. If you make over a certain amount, you're not eligible. But uh, for, the most of, for the most of us, uh, we are probably eligible for the IRA as long as we're working, um, either us, either yourself or your spouse. And you'll be able to put away uh, $5,500 a year into that account every single year for you and your spouse. So those, the Roth IRA is a little bit different than the traditional IRA, and that is the Roth IRA, does, you don't have any benefits today, so no tax benefits, but the funds will grow tax-free. So if you put money in today, and then at the age of 60, 70, you decide to withdraw the money, you withdraw the money tax-free. All that gain that you've had, you won't be paying taxes on it. The third account that I would like to talk about is the Coverdell Educational Fund. This is an account where it's a, it's a small amount that you're able to put in, about $2,000 a year. Also, there's limitations regarding income, and it's for children for their college education. My son goes to college. College is very expensive. Tuition can go up from, from state schools, maybe as low as $10,000 a year, and then they go all the way up to private schools, $70,000 with room and board. That's expensive. Uh, very few of us will be able to afford that, um, to pay, paying every year for a college education. So we need to save early, just like we want to save for our retirement, so that when we grow older, we want to be able to go and invest for our children and be able to have um, 
they, for them to have a college educational fund where they'll be able to have some uh, funds to help you pay for their education. And we all know the importance of education. So with that, I will um, see to uh, Amjad Qadri uh, from Amana. Um, I just a brief, I got one more minute, just a little bit about our company, um, Iman Fund. So we are located here actually in, out of Oak Brook, Illinois. And um, we have been around since 2000. And we, if you have any questions, please visit us out of our booth, which is, uh, on C, I think, C31. I have also some material here for you after the event if you'd like to pick them up. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.